All right, so new patch notes for global um, are here, and I mean, it's 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 really difficult to make patch notes videos for global because I already know we already know it's coming. Where it's not like, it's not like we're impressed, but you know, uh, for the ones that are under a rock and only only try to not get spoiled by GP stuff, chapter two for Ragnarok. Is, I mean, they already announced all this like right before it actually comes out, but. Chapter two of Ragnarok. Um, just uh, this chapter is okay. Like honestly, chapter one was really good. Chapter two was a little slow towards the middle. It's it's okay. It's okay. The story is decent because Brynhildr is 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 uh, is there, so it, it makes up for it. Um, I believe you, you do get the thirty gems at the end. I don't recall exactly. Um, more stories from from Grimner's book. Um, it's just like those, yeah, you get like a few gems for, uh, for doing that, uh, like, uh, you just click on it and then you do something and you get like one gem, I think, I think that's it, cause, <laughs> I also don't know what actually this is, um, some achievements, okay, the banner, Brynhildr in the end, should you summon for Brynhildr in the end, yes, if you are a whale, which, if you are a whale, you don't need to hear this, because you know you're already going to summon. Know if you were free to play. Because... Instead... Let's wait to see what JP is gonna bring this week. Um, we know there's a festival coming out today, or being announced today on JP in two hours by the time we're recording this video. So... Uh, in two hours by the time I'm recording this video, maybe like an hour and a half by the time you're watching this video, or this video has been uploaded, we're gonna be live on YouTube reacting to whatever the new festival is, which m might be Galfer, we'll see. Um, so let's see from that, but... What? They changed the name into Brunhild? Are you joking? No. Bruh, Hilder. I'm gonna have to change all my titles, are you kidding me? Uh, Brunhild? Okay. <laughs> Such a shit name. <laughs> Brunhild? Brunhilder is, is not that great either, but like, it's, it's better. More feminine. Brunhild? In any case, I don't recommend summoning. The is good for PvP. It's like, she's very powerful on her own. But you sort of need Margaret for her to actually be a viable team. And even if you're, if you're using her with Margaret, if you face a Bond team, you lost. And Bond teams, I would say right now, with Holy Relic being actually for, for the play, sort of. You know, you still have to be a way you can beat stage 2, but with Holy Relics being non-paid right now, Bonds are more prevalent. Um, it's like, uh, I don't really recommend the end just for that. Uh, plus, you're gonna maybe need 6-6 six, six for her ultimate to be, like, really good. Um, and one shot, like, level, like, level 3 damage reduction, Margaret and stuff. Uh, Brynhildr, she's... Brunhild, sorry. She's really good for the bird. Like, she's really good for the, the major bird strategy for stage 3. But... I'll be very honest, if you're free to play, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> You're not gonna beat stage 3. Even whales can't beat stage 3. The only people who have beat stage 3 are people who have been trying like hours and hours for weeks and then they got one time and then they are struggling to get a second time. It's it, it, it's best to wait for actually like really good units for the event. Not units that are decent for it because Brynhildr is decent for the event, right? Be it's because most units in the game don't work at all in the event and she kind of works makes her good but once we get units that are like really good for the event that like allows us to do like stage three then it will be a must summon but right now if you if you want to be so i'm gonna say stage one is like most people's goals stage two if you can beat stage two great sariel can do it i have not beat stage two with brinkholder yet fun fact i have only beat it with Sario. I've tried multiple times to beat it with Brynhildr, and I almost get there, but the lack of DPS from her ultimate really cucks me, 
Maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but I've done it with Sauriel instead, which is a very similar unit to her. So I would say try with Sauriel. If you're really struggling, you, you really think you can beat Stage 2 only with Brainholder, sure, summon for her. But um, I think maybe the Festival Galfer that's about to come out would be really good for the bird. So it's like, which one do you want? You know, it's... I think mainly wait for her. Uh, if you don't know why she's good for the bird. Quick X... So the bird's coming out as well, right? Yeah, the bird's coming out. Um, <laughs> such a lie. They don't actually drop these items in these stages. Um, so let me open her up first. So, stage... Stage... No, phase four of the first bird. He gets an absurd amount of resistance. Um, and Power Strike, obviously, does additional damage equal to many resistance. So, it's one of the only ways you can actually damage him. And if you don't damage him, you're dead. So, she's good because of that. Also, she has really high stats because of her passive. That's like is decent for the other phases as well. And her ultimate heals, which is which can be very helpful, especially if you don't have the, have the, the good card set for the bird. So it's like, she's good, like, she's good for the event, but she's barely good for the event. It's like, yeah, she's good because this kind of works, you know? She's not good because, wow, she's really good. It's, it's, it's just because right now the bird, they released the bird with zero units for it. And Brynhildr was the only unit they sort of released for it. Because, you know, she gets 12% 12 12, uh, for every uh, ally in battle. So it's like 4v4, you get more stats and stuff like that. Because you have four, 4 heroes in the field when you face the bird. So you sh they kind of made her for it, but not really. It's it If they made her for it, they would have made her remove the remove buffs and stuff. And, st and sh they would have made given like a stronger ultimate. Because her ultimate can't damage the last phase. Um, also, in, in then stage two, she's good for it for almost the same reasons. Really, she can nuke with her cards, um, but Sario can do the same. It's like if if you already have a, a, a busted up Sario, it's kind of better because his ultimate can actually damage him, the bird, and her ultimate can't on the stages that actually matter. So you know she's good. Like she's actually better than Sario. I'm I'm downplaying her, but it's like. I don't see the reason to 6-6 her for it, you know, because if you're going to use her for the bird, you're going to have to have her 6-6 to actually, like, merit using her and stuff like that. So, yeah, and she, she's in the SR tickets. Um, you might pull her once or something. Um, okay, Holy Relics, blah, 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 uh, bird. I'm going to be making an actual guide for the bird and posting it today, later today, because tomorrow we're gonna have the JP update as well, so it's gonna be like, I don't know how much stuff they're gonna release with the celebration. Definitely gonna have, you know, the, the Galfer showcase, stuff like that coming out. So I don't know what I'm gonna have to do for that. Um, but the, the, I should release, okay. I think I'm gonna release the stage one tutorial and then the stage two tutorial or floor one, floor two, whatever. Um, floor one tutorial today, floor two tomorrow, because Again, majority of people, your goal is at least beating floor one, I think. Floor two is doable for high-end players. I'm saying like whales or people who have been playing the game since day one and have not stopped playing the game. If you're one of those people, you can actually beat stage two. I, I think so. Um, but it's going to take you like a few dozen attempts. It's, it's, it's rough. So It's rough. Um, blah, 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 yeah, he resets weekly, so the materials, right, these materials are bullshit, 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 so these right here, th this is fine, you, so this material right here, you can get, let me actually switch to Grand Cross here, from here, so you know these stages that you beat right here, every day, every day, okay, you should be beating these stages, I, I, t I skip ticket them, because I can't be bothered, they're very, they're very quick though, I shouldn't, because that's kind of a waste of skip tickets, to be honest, but listen, um, the coins you get, you buy this, right, every week, you buy um, both of these, so you use like a thousand of these per week, that's less than actually what you get per week, 
uh, just by doing that stage two times a day, that's less than what you actually get per week. So uh, make sure to keep getting these every week because you use them for the Holy Relic. Sorry, my uh, quick cut. My OBS was kind of bugging out. Uh, it wasn't switching back to the uh, the browser. It's whatever. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I should be doing those every week. And those like these two materials. So okay, I didn't know this, but I guess Jillian actually you don't need that first material, this one, to actually get hers. Interesting. Um, is that true? I think I've checked her. So, interesting thing. Some SRs get... This. So, if a character doesn't have an SSR form, they can actually get their Holy Relic just by using these materials. But the issue is, is that, yeah, that one, this one's the, technically the only one time you get it, but I'm telling you, these materials have the worst drop rates ever. These, like the cube and the crystal here, have the worst drop rates. I know this because... Let me come back to the game here. Let me go to the bird. I was farming it uh, last week, so... This week I haven't even beat stage 2 yet. I, I, so, uh, I beat stage 1 for my, uh, my weekly coin. And then by the end, my, I, I couldn't get any healing cards. I couldn't get any healing cards. This is why I don't like this team also, because you have like only healing from her, but anyways. My DN has like 5 HP, and I'm scared to click stage 2 and die. But, like, this stage is such bullshit. It says it's 10% chance of dropping this. Oh, how much is stage 1? 10 as well. It's not. It's not. Yesterday, I beat it like, I think like 10 times. I beat stage 1 10 times into like 2, because I kept failing stage 2. Um... And I got maybe like 15 cubes in total, like c counting all the, the, the plays I did. This is not 40%. It's not, it's not, it's not. Like statistically, it cannot be because of the sheer amount of times I farmed this event and didn't get it. It's such bullshit. <laughs> and you need so many of them. So many, you need 70 cubes. Like why is this picture such low resolution here? You need 70 cubes. Se you can't even see, it's such a low resolution. 70 cubes and is it 25 of the crystal? So, good luck, by the way, farming. Um, but yeah, so holy relics. Oof, exciting stuff. Uh, they're releasing first for Ban, Ban, Ban. <laughs> the all three Bans. Uh, Lily, Lilia, Twigo, Jillian, and Aleoni. If I'm being honest, I think either you go for Twigo if your main team is Bon, or you do what I'm doing and I'm skipping until something that actually, 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 uh, I think is worth it. Because with the, like, yeah, like Bon's Holy Relic is phenomenal. Like you think, oh, it's only this. It's only increased the hero's max HP by 15% each time an ally dies. You think it's only this, but in practice, it's really good. Big issue is that I don't think it's worth it. Even though the, the 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 actual ability is really good and it looks really good, like if I go back here to Ban, it looks phenomenal. The Holy Relic looks amazing, but it's like I don't think it's worth it. But for the price and what it does and the fact that I don't actually use Ban. It's like, I don't think it's worth it. So none of the relics that have come out yet, I think are worth it. Even the ones. The ones is so bad. So, let's see what Galfer's relic will be. The new festival Galfer, if he gets one when he comes out. I hope he doesn't, actually. I hope he doesn't get it when he can, when uh, it, 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 like comes out. Let's see if base Galfer gets his relic, what will be. Stuff like that. I would not recommend getting it for these. Um, yeah, you can see exchange shop. Um... I hope they put all these uh, materials in like other shops as well in the future, of course. Uh, store stuff. Oh yeah, now you can actually... Um, like, he recommends you like a deck for that unit. You can already tell it's garbage because it's recommending you to use Assault Melee on the Red Demon and <laughs> Assault Melee on Belmoth with Sariel the one in Merlin. I guess you can do normal with that. You can already tell it's not great. <laughs> uh, and then... Um, tower. Oh yeah, the new tower stages are here. They're they're pretty difficult, actually. But the rewards are decent. 
anyways, um, don't recommend summoning. Let's see what JP brings out this week with Galfer, and uh, that's it.